Yes. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. A very warm welcome all of you to our club annual contest. Good evening. Before I start the meeting, I request all of you to please turn off your mobile phones or keep them on a silent mode. Our club mission is to provide supportive and learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Now I hand over a control to our president to call meeting in order. Please welcome our club president, PM Muhammad Vukaruddin with huge round applause. Thank you, Sir Tom's Toastmaster Wasim, for bringing vibrancy to our annual club contest, Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters meeting. Now the time comes for our meeting call to order. Now I will call the meeting number 88, call to order. Now, as per protocol, we need to follow and introduce guests. So here I can see we have honor and get by our CGD, Division D Director and Champion, humorous Speaker, Toastmaster Hanur Alush. So I request our DTM Yasser to introduce himself to the audience for a one sentence. Thank you, Brother Fakharuddin, uh, for uh, that. Uh, this is Toastmaster uh, DTM Yasser Al Gashar, the Club Growth Director. Uh, thank you, and it is my pleasure to be with you today. Back to you. Thank you. Your presence make us proud. Thank you. And we have next Division B Director DTM Killer. Introduce yourself, please. Good evening, Bahrain IT professionals. Great to see all of you and congratulations on conducting the contest. This is Killer here, Division B Director for the team 2022-23. And all the best, all the contestants and contests are not just uh, uh, the way stopping things, it's only the way opening things that the club has to decide who has to go to the next level. That is the only reason we conduct contest. Thank Back you. Back to you, President Vikardin. Thank you so much, Division B Director. Now I would like to invite our district humorous champion, Toastmaster Hanan Alush, to introduce to the guest. Thank you very much. Um, I'm looking forward for this uh, humorous contest. I'm looking forward to learn. Um, and uh, hopefully to see very good competition. Looking forward for attending all and hearing all and laughing also with all. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for your presence being with us in this virtual world. Thanks to the virtual world, give us connected. And she's coming from all the way from Kuwait. And thank you all guests to introduce yourself now. Mr. VK Education, is there any apologies from our members? Yes, Mr. President, uh, many members apologized. They could not attend because of uh, other commitments. Okay, thank you. And uh, is there any changes what we have uh, published the agenda? Uh, no changes in the agenda. All our press are there. Okay, so I would like somebody can propose the agenda to be adopted as it is without any changes. Uh, Mr. President, there is a change in agenda, so please ensure okay. that the change is adopted. Thank you. Thank you. And can somebody second the agenda? 
Mr. President, the agenda, please check again. Thank you. What is the change? Yeah, yeah, there is a one change. One of the contest chair for humor, I am the one. And the second change is by Toastmaster Topic. This is the change. So I would like um, change. the proposed changes. Can somebody propose and adopt the changes? I, Toastmaster Shakir, will propose to change the agenda. Second uh, contest, contest chair will be Toastmaster Topic. Thank you. And can somebody second the agenda? I, I second it. Yeah, thank you, Toastmaster Bhemut Adaraj and Toastmaster Yasser. Now, with these proposed changes, now we have to go ahead. Now we have a, another vibrant contest chair, Toastmaster Taufik with us, and he will do his vibrancy in the table topic session. Now, the time come for annual contest for our club member to show their muscles, not from here, from their talk, and inspire the audience, inspire the judges, and inspire the guests who will join with us and see your speeches. And I hope that can be make you to the rich highest and make our club to be flourish in the kingdom of Bahrain, in District 20, regional and international. This is my dream. I am sure the dream will come true, not now in the upcoming stage or upcoming later stage. Now, without further ado, so everybody is waiting for to start the contest. So I will not take much time and we will go as per the agenda, which is we need to start the contest on time and our surgery terms, role players, everybody waiting for that. More on that, I can see our vibrant speakers, Toastmaster Mahmoud Adraj, Toastmaster Yasser, Toastmaster Shakil, and our new member, Toastmaster Arsalan. So I hope they will inspire the judges and make our club more proud in our sessions. Move on. Now, I would like to give control back to contest chair, none other than which is our club president. So I request to... So now the contest chair is yours. Thank you everyone for being with us and enjoying the contest. Now, I will start little bit briefing as per the protocol and all the speakers listen to that. Distinguished judges, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Welcome to humorous speech contest of Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club for the term 2022-2023. I am Toastmaster Muhammad Bikaruddin, your contest chair. Today, we test the ability of our members through a friendly contest, which takes the winner right up to the district level and inspire the audience. We have a distinguished panel of judges led by Toastmaster Gulam Farooq to select the winners. Before we commence the contest, we have to remind ourselves some of the rules under which these contests are held. The contestants and surgery terms have been briefed of their rules by the contestor, it's me. The judges, tally counters, and timers have been briefed on their duties by the chief judge, Toastmaster Ghulam Farooq. Contestants have also drawn their speaking order as per the agenda, which is Contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmood Al Adraj. Contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan Ayub. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shakil Sheikh. 
contest chair, can I ask the uh, humorous contest number two to open the camera, please? Yes. Thank Toastmaster you. Aslam, can you switch on your camera, please? And be online. Thank you. Thank you, Chief uh, CJ. Contestants should ensure proper internet connectivity, enough lightning to be aware of the surrounding. Contest 10 must be organized at a speaking place so they are visible through the camera throughout the speech duration. Contestants should ensure proper audio and video setup before their speech. Contestants were instructed during the briefing of the profile naming standard. In case technology failure, the CJ determined that contestant can no longer continue due to lack of contestants or contest officials. The contest will be reconveyed at later stage. If a contestant has internet issue just before the beginning the speaking, they can give them time one off chance for three minutes to log back in and start their speech. No extra overtime will be given to the contestant in this case. During the technology failure, affected contestant is requested to communicate to the contest chair or the chief judge using WhatsApp or phone. Each contestant will be introduced by announcing the contestant name, speech title, the title, and the name. Then you start your speech. So I will repeat again. I believe Toastmaster Mahmoud Atraj, Toastmaster Arsalan Ayub, you are doing for the first time. I will say your contestant name, then speech title, speech title, and name. Then you start your speech because timer will record your time. So your speech time limit is five to seven minutes. Upon introduce, contestant should proceed immediately to the speaking position. Contestant will be asked by the surgery terms on his or her readiness before heading to contest chair. The speaker should begin within a short time after arriving at the speaking area and confirming your readiness. Contestant must not refrain another contestant, speech presented by another contestant from the platform at the same time contest which they are competing. Very important, speeches shall be five to seven minutes. Contestant who will speak less than four minutes, 30 seconds, more than seven minutes, 30 seconds will be disqualified. Timers, in case you are using cell phone or timing, please set your phone, do not disturb mode or airplane mode. Timer will not allow the speaker to be ready upon reaching the speaking position and will be ready for the timing hearing from the formal introduction of the speaker. Now I request the timer, green single signal will be displayed at five minutes. Can you demonstrate five minutes and remain display for one minute. An amber signal will be displayed at six minutes and remain display for one minute. The red signal will be displayed at seven minutes and remain display until the speech is concluded. So no audible device will be used to indicate over time period. There will be one minute silence between contestants during which the judge mark their ballots. Two minute silence will be observed at the end of the contest, help the judges to complete their ballots and hand them to tally counters. Chief judge will be asked if more time is needed when silence time is up. So we have only one ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, silence is a virtue. Please turn off your camera, keep your microphone muted throughout the contest. Prior to announce the winners and announcements will be made if time disqualification occurred. But the name of the contestant will not be revealed. Here are some reminders. Avoid entering, leaving contest breakout room and forth. Although chat box is enabled to host and co-host only, it's not recommended to use the chat box during any speech. Protect 
concerning originality and eligibility will be limited to judges and contestant only any protest may be lodged with the chief judge or contest chairperson prior to the announcement of the winner all decision of the judges are final are there any questions are there any questions no i'll um do we have a presentation as well or is this just going to be a speech is this we... uh contested do you want to address that do you want yes. to address that? yes please uh Professor Muhammad, if you have a presentation, have you indicated that to your contest chair beforehand? Uh, no, nope, I have not. Okay, this needs to be indicated before the start of the contest. Okay. That you are using a presentation or a prop. Any okay. prop usage of should also be informed to the contest, so that they have made the required uh, facilities to be available to you. All right. Because because one of the protocols for the internet contest is besides the chat being limited also screen sharing will not be allowed except for the hosts and all the right the forms okay so is that okay with you before we proceed can you do you still need a presentation i can work without it it's fine but i had a lot of uh, things in the presentation so if it can be included now at this time it would be on this chair that is your call if you want to go ahead with that and it... i'll move ahead it's okay you will not use the presentation mode, right? Yes. Thank you. And Thank one you. more instruction, like all of them, sorry, contest chair, that I would like to inform you. When your slot comes, chance comes for the speaking, please remove the virtual background. If you don't remove the virtual background, it is considered as a prop, and the timers have been instructed to start the timing as soon as you're introduced. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Back to you, contest chair. Thank you, Chief Judge uh, Bulam Farooq, for addressing that concern. And thanks, contestants. Are you ready now? Timers. Sure. Timers, are you ready? Contestants, just a point here to note, like in your briefing, uh, did you identify to them that in case of timer one, there's a timer two also that will take over? Yes. Uh, and yes, and now here, would, okay. We'd like also to test the timer two cards. And again, note it's only the timer one will show the cards. Please pin only timer one. Only in event of a failure, then the timer two will be active. Okay, note that, please. Thank you. I believe all contestants understand the timer protocol. We have timer one and timer two. In case timer one is unavailable, you can watch the timer two. And I will take that privilege and make the speaker view. We keep the time contestant timer one and timer two on your speaker view so you can easily visible as a speaker. View. If you go for the speaker view, you can see first the contest chair, timer one, timer two, then contestant, then CJ, such terms. So these are the speaker view. So you may not get any confusion in case of timer one is down, so you can see the other timer. Make sure you keep your Zoom speaker view. Thank you. Audience we have here, are you ready? Thank you, Toastmaster Ahmed Baloshi for your presence. I believe everything is okay. Chief Judge. Yes, the contest chair, I just want to confirm that uh waiting room is enabled so that we don't have interference during the contest and also if the chat is disabled except for the hosts for all yeah sure uh toastmaster of it can yeah i think it's done okay thank you thank you so chief judge are your judges ready Yes, contest chair, the judges and the tally counters are ready. Yes, let the best win. I invite the first contestant. Sergeant Arms, can you prepare the readiness for the first speaker? Toastmaster. Toastmaster. Tofik Thada. <laughs> Toastmaster. 
Thank you, contest chair. Good evening to all uh, panel of judges and led by Chief Judge Toastmaster Farooq. The audience, all of you are excited and geared up. And so is my contestant number one. Contestant number one, humorous speech, HUM01 Toastmaster Mahmoud Al Adroj. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm excellent. Great. Is this your speaking position? Uh, this is. I'm in the car, so I have no much uh, space to go far. <laughs> All the very best. Please give me a thumbs up with a lovely smile. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And over to you, Contest Chair, Toastmaster Mohammed Bikar. Mahmoud Bikar or Mahmoud Aladrajumi. Contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud Aladraj, George Washington. George Washington, Toastmaster Mahmoud Aladraj. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Bekar Dean. Uh, on 16th of October, 1999, I received a call from my boss and he was saying, it's an urgent call. It's an urgent help this call. Just go to the uh, DHL office in Maharak and attend the call. Don't forget to carry your laptop and your tools. So I had to carry my laptop and the tools and rush with my Cressida 1994 uh, white one straight to DHL office in Maharra. I parked the car outside, gone to the gate and the security guard was in front of me, stopping me. Whom you want to go and meet? I said, I want to meet Mr. James Rock. He said, what? No one with that name. I said, can't be. This, is this the HL office? Yes. Don't you have someone called James Rock? He said, no. So I had to call Mr. James. I'm in front of the gate. He said, hold on a minute. And he come. He came, he rushed to the gate and said, welcome. And the security guard stand, had a slot and said, please go ahead. He said, here is Mr. James Rock. And I had to go inside. Anyway, I went inside. I was going to repair. Uh, desk of one of the servers in uh, that place, which I'll mention later. So I had to go inside and I had to stand next to a lot of soldiers, American soldiers. And I thought that I'm going to a server. So Mr. James Rock said, please sit with these guys and wait for your turn. What turn? Where is the server? So he said, just sit, you will go to the server. Okay, so a lady sitting in, on another side, on a table, asked me, please tell me your weight. I said, 73 kg. But why, why do you need my weight? He said, weight in kg, not acceptable. Just tell me your weight in uh, pounds. I said. Well, how will I know what's my, what, what's my uh, weight? In, in, in the... So please stand on the weight on the scale and weigh yourself. So it was something in, in pound that I did here. She wrote it down and she said, proceed. And that weird situation was really uh, something that I had no clue where I'm going, but I was supposed to go to the server. So anyway, 
in five minutes, uh, one of the soldier asked us, please come in. They opened the door and it's open air in front of an airplane, that airplane with a folded wings and opens from the back. They gave us a, uh, a vest, a, a safety vest, just gone inside. And I had to go and wait for my turn. We went inside the plane with my tools and everybody was looking at me uh, wearing that tool or, or carrying that tool and going inside the plane. So I had to sit in the plane. The plane was full uh, of soldiers, except me, who has no clue where he's going to. Uh, well, I know that I'm going to a server, but not in the plane. Uh, I had to go inside, the plane started moving, and I had no clue as well where to go. 15 minutes on the air, and then I was really shocked when I heard the huge sound. And that sound was boom. Apparently we landed, hopefully safely, because it was really shocking. I can't present that here in the car, but it was really uh, stretching for us and for everyone. I don't want to say that the, my neighbor, he vomited, sorry. It's, that's what happens when a plane uh, almost crashes uh, or landing. Anyway, we landed, hopefully safely. I had to go inside and ask for the sit up, Brian, Brian Cooper. Brian Cooper was waiting for me. He took me to the server. Apparently, this is an aircraft carrier in the middle of the sea, waiting, carrying around 5,000 employee. And I had to go to the sixth floor of that uh, airplane carrier, going inside to the finance department. And luckily I found a server that was strapped by, uh, strapped to the, uh, to be hold rather than it moves around in the aircraft carrier, which I don't think it moves, uh, but it was a strap. And I had to repair uh, that hard, hard disk. So that was an experience that I really uh, faced. There are lots of facts to this, uh, in, in this aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier is George Washington. It has 5,000 employees. It had 12 uh, Coca-Cola vending machines. It had five ATMs and it has a very nice restaurant that are uh, two restaurants, in fact. One restaurant is for the soldiers, one restaurant for the others. Uh, and I was on the other restaurant, which uh, I had to eat. And I had to spend one night there uh, because there is no return flight back to the country. And unfortunately, the light is off. I have to. So uh, there was a, no flight. I had to stay one night overnight within the plane itself, and I had to go back to Bahrain, back to safe. Thank you very much, and back to you. TMP Karutin. Thank you, contestant number one. Now one minute silence for judges to mark their ballot.
Now the contestant number two, so that arms, can you prepare for the second speaker? Our contest chair, there is a hand raised by one of the contestants before we introduce the second contestants. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes uh, uh, contest chair, the certificate says uh, table topics. Yeah, okay, that will manage, we will manage. Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan Ayu, HUM02, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan Ayu. Good evening, sir. Very good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, lovely, thanks for asking. Is it possible that you can remove your virtual bl blur background? Okay. That's better. Yes, please. Would you like to be seated or would you like to stand? Seated is fine. Is this your speaking position? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, may I have your thumbs up with a lovely smile? Contest chair, contestant number two is ready to go and is all yours. Thank you. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, <laughs> Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan, if I were a chicken or good news? If I were a chicken or good news? Yes. Muhammad Arsalan, are you? Thank you for the introduction, Toastmaster Vikaruddin. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, beginning with the name of Allah, uh, the most beneficent and the merciful. Uh, I hope uh, all of you are having a great evening tonight. It's one of my first speeches in the Toastmasters Club. Uh, it's an honor to be here with all of you. Um, yeah, I am a little bit handicapped today, but I'll, I'll try to make it as fun as possible. Um, if I were a chicken, um, so if I were a chicken, the first problem in life uh, would be um, all of my siblings, or to be siblings, uh, in the same space, we would have not been able to joke to each other. Um, it would have been very quiet or very serious. The reason being, um, if there was a joke, either one of us would have cracked up. And if we do crack up, we won't be coming to life. So you know how an egg, when it's cracked, cannot turn into chicken. So I, was fortunate enough that most of my siblings did not throw out a joke uh, in this process. But life can be as, um, as fun as it is as a human while you're a chicken. Uh, I, I do remember a lot of my time uh, as an egg. Um, I would talk to my parents that I won't hatch until you buy me an iPhone 14 Max Pro. And uh, that really sounded really bad for them. Uh, they were really upset about it. And I think what we also need to look into is life might have ended up like a chicken nugget. You never know. I might have been somebody's food or dinner, or maybe a kid running around in McDonald's. So we all love to have some kind of a hero for ourselves. As a chicken, if I were a chicken, I would have loved to grown up, to be a grown up Popeye chicken. So I would have these big feathery muscles with me and I would have run around town and I would have been cocking out pretty loud, cock a doodle doo And that, that's what I would have loved to do. And the best thing is, I, I think the chickens could have shared the same way of, of growing up as humans. Um, so what, what, would do, what do we do? We actually go to school to get egg-ucated. 
So it's with an E double G, it's an education that, would I, uh, that I would have been treated to pretty nicely in one of the wonderful universities and schools all around. And I would definitely be working and would have a boss as well. For the boss, uh, the usual question is, Ursalan, what are you doing? So we usually say, I'm busy working. As a chicken, I would come up and say, uh, working around the clock, sir. So that's how it is. There would be a thug life of a chicken as well. Um, it could have been like with some glasses, um, like Snoop Dogg or something. And I might have been playing some kind of music, um, a rapper maybe, but you never know. I might not have been a professional at all, but that's how a chicken life is. But what if I ended up as a professional doctor? So nowadays we've got our first uh, contestant as well, Toastmaster uh, Mahmoud. He was a little bit sick, he had some sniffles. So if I was a chicken doctor, I would have prescribed him some people soup, not chicken soup at all, because I don't want him to consume some of our kind itself. Um, so people's soup, maybe for Toastmaster uh, Mahmoud al -Adraj. Insecurities, as humans, we have insecurities. As chickens, we might have insecurities as well. Um, we've seen people say, I hate my nose. Um, as a chicken, I would come up and say, I hate my chicken legs. And my fellow crow, uh, if I may say so, Toastmaster Shaquille might come up and say, at least you don't have crow feet at all. So that, that would be a, a wonderful thing to have as a conversation. And weekends, uh, Saturdays, Friday, um, or Thursday evenings. Uh, we would also have an Easter egg hangover. We would go out and party and have a fun time. Being in the office, the work would not only be clicking, it would also be impeccable with our lovely uh, beings. We would be flying around and we would have come up with these abominations stating that, look, we have wings and we have never used them. If we just flapped them, we could have flown. So one of the saviors would have been around and life would have changed a lot. Now, I think one of the best things to happen or the worst things to happen to humans is you really need a life partner. And to be perfectly honest, um, the, the better half would have said, I crossed the road to get away from my husband. And one of the oldest riddles that we have always come across is, why did the chicken cross the road? So I would have had the answer to it to get away from her husband. Curses are always there. So the curses would have slightly changed and it would be, hey dude, were you born in a barn or where? It wouldn't be like the normal curses that we take around um, pretty seriously. And I would have had, while the road was being crossed, a lot of people would have had these old questions in their mind. And maybe my grandfather or his grandfather or my great great grandfather or somebody would have written a book and I would have come to solve the riddle, the oldest riddle known to humankind. Did the chicken come first or the egg? I'll close my speech uh, on this note. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, everyone, today. Have a good evening. One minute of silence for judges to mark their band.
Dr. Thomas, can you prepare for the speaker number three? Thank you, Contest Chair. Good evening, contestant number three, HUM03, Toastmaster Shakir Sheikh. How are you doing today? I am doing excellent. Thank you. Is this your speaking position? Yes. Good, you're visible, you're audible. Please give me a thumbs up with a lovely smile. Good. Contest chair, contestant number three, Toastmaster Shakir Sheikh is ready and is all yours. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shakil Sheikh, College Days, College Days, Toastmaster Shakil Sheikh. Good evening, Toastmasters. Who did not have fun in the college days? You all spend time and you all know how many things happen in college. And definitely you will have several memories. Contest chair, fellow contestants, and guests. It was a time when I had joined engineering college. After passing from my secondary, uh, higher secondary college, I joined the engineering college. I was not from the same city, so I had to stay in the hostel, hostel life, and that to engineering. Some of you are engineers, you will know what happens. It was the first day in the hostel. I took the room, we stayed there. And uh, we just try to arrange ourselves, get settled. Some of the uh, students came, they were like seniors. They said, uh, you're all junior guys. You have to introduce yourself to us. We'll help you. I was like, okay, what happens? I had heard about things, you know, happening in college and hostels. I thought these people look good. They said, okay, if you want to introduce, come with us. We all uh, five, six, uh, maybe seven of my classmates all went along with those seniors. They took us outside the hostel and uh, we went out onto the road. They said, you have to cross the road. I said, what is this? are you joking? Oh, you have to walk and cross the road. I said, no, not like that. All of you sit down. They said, you have to do this. Then only will introduce you and we will help you. Okay, they said, sit down in a frog position, like you know, on the bending and putting hand fronts, everybody. And you jump like a frog from one side of the road to the other side. And this is going to be a race. Whoever goes first, he will be out of the uh, that race competition. Everybody else will continue the other side. And this will continue till everybody finish. We all started jumping like frog from one end to the other end. Everybody was trying to go faster. I could not, I'm still behind. And there were several students walking on the road, clapping and, and, uh, and like uh, making us uh, encouraged to run faster on that. I was like, what is going on? I'm not going to win this race at all. And I was constantly behind. But then I thought if I could continue this race, I might turn into a front one day. Maybe I'm finishing this. But somehow we managed. We finished, we come back and our legs were paining. We came back and then they introduced, they helped, of course. But that was really a very funny incident that really helped me break my eyes with all those people. Always there are many incidents in the hostel that happens. At one time, uh, you know, winter days, we have to, we used to have a water heater and there used to be common bathrooms on every floor of the hostel. So you have to go to uh, the bathroom and stay in the queue to get the hot water. Not really showered, but in the bucket. And uh, those who come early, they can get faster. Otherwise, the water is to take longer to heat. She said, what to do? This is like taking a lot of time. We bought a water heater, water coil, and made our own water heater. Engineers, so we took a lot of uh, wood, joined the coil, put in the bucket, started heating the water in our own rooms. It was fine. Others also started watching this. Again, it was taking some more longer time to heat the water. I said, why not cut the wire and make it shorter so it will take more current and run faster. And one day we did that. 
We put the water and turn on the button. No. <laughs> the fuse blown off and the electricity went off on the whole building. Nobody knew. And uh, me, my roommate, and all they said, keep silent, keep quiet. There was a lot of color everywhere, like what to do. This thing that we called and we had to investigate what is going on. We silently kept it hidden under our bed. And uh, then we realized what how long now in shoulder because the electricity is gone. Now we don't have hot water. In the cold winter, we have to shower with the cold water. We all suffered. It was a really fun time. We really had a good enjoyment with that cold water winter. Uh, what else? Uh, there are several cases. Uh, it was vacation time. After vacation, we came back from uh, home with, uh, you know, after taking some period of time rest and come back, we will come back. We all were happy, enjoying. In the morning, I went to the bathroom. I had uh, a new toothpaste. So I, I used my toothpaste. I was brushing my teeth, kept the paste there near the sink and started washing out of the windows. What is going on? Maybe two, three minutes. And uh, after I finished, I came back, I washed my face, everything, and I took my toothpaste. It was like water empty. I said, I used only one. What happened? I looked at my friends, said, guys, did you use my toothpaste? They said, yes. Oh, we forgot. I said, what the hell? What are you doing? You're using my toothpaste. What are you bringing? You forgot. Can I swore, you don't forget you are under garments. I started laughing. <laughs> So there were many funny moments we had, and I'm sure all of you had. And with that, uh, thank you, all of you can just share. Thank you. Thank you. Contest chair. Yes. Okay. While the silence is being maintained, uh, I would like to request that uh, yourself and the contestants for the Himalaya contest be taken to the breakout room, please. Yes. Thank you. Uh, all the contestants and the contest chair will be in the breakout room. Please join us.
Uh, contest chair, as I requested, only yourself and the humorous speech contest, please join the main room. The rest are not requested to join, please. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I change it now. Thank you. Uh, Chief Judge, can we adjourn this session? Adjourn the contest, sorry. Yes, please give me a minute. I'm just collecting the ballots from my uh, judges. Give us a couple of minutes and we'll, we can adjourn the contest after that. Thank you. Contest chair, you may join the contest for the humorous speech. What do you? Thank you, uh, Chief Judge. Now, adjourn the contest of humorous. And now, we'll move to the second category that is table topic. Another, my half brother, and always helping be a part of Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club, Area 34 Director. He served the community. Lots of things is doing for anything. Now with that, I will give handed over back to 
the second contest chair, none other than our treasurer, Toastmaster, Tofi Khadar. Thank you for that warm welcome, the ever smiling, the ever energetic, and the enthusiastic soul of Bahrain ID Professionals Toastmasters Club, none other than led by President Toastmaster Mohammed Vikar. Distinguished judges, fellow Toastmasters, and distinguished guests, welcome to the Table Topics Contest of BITP Toastmasters Club for the term 2022-2023. And I am Toastmaster Tawfiq Abdul Qadir, your contest chair. Today, we test the abilities of our members through a friendly contest, which takes the winner right up to the district level. We have a distinguished panel of judges led by Toastmaster, our favorite one, with lovely smile, Toastmaster Farooq Qadir, to select the winners. I'm sure the audience will enjoy a thrilling, a time listening to some magnificent impromptu speeches. Before we commence the contest, may we remind ourselves of some of the basic rules under which these contests are held. The contestants and Sergeant at Arms have been briefed of these rules by the contest chair. The judges, tally counters, and timers have been briefed on their duties by the chief judge. Contestants have also drawn their speaking orders as follows. Judges, please note their names. Contestant number one. May we have them spotlighted? Contestant number one. TT01. Toastmaster Mahmoud Aladraj. Contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud Al Adraj. Contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan Ayub. Contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan Ayub. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shaquille Sheikh. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shaquille Sheikh. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser Al Yusuf. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser Al Yusuf. I hear some disturbance, Sergeant Dumps. Is it from my end or? Yeah, it's okay now. It was from TJ. It's fine. All right. All contestants are spotlighted. Yes. Thank you so much, our ever energetic president and IT moderator supporting me. Thank you. Contestants should ensure proper internet connectivity, enough lighting, and be aware of their surroundings. Contestants must organize their speaking place so they are visible through the camera throughout their speech duration. Contestants should ensure proper audio and video setup before their speech. Contestants were instructed during their briefing on the profile naming standards, which is TT01, TT02, TT03, TT04. Contestants are not permitted to change their profile name during the contest before taking approval from the contest chair, which is me. When introduced to give contest speech, ensure that the video and audio be switched up on and on all the times. And select pin video at the video of the timer, timer one, with signaling devices. Contestants will not be able to compete 
unless they are able to share the video and be visible and audible to all. In case of technology failure, and the chief judge determines that the contest can no longer continue due to a lack of contestants or contest officials, the contest will be reconvened at a later date or time. Before the topic is read to the first contestant, if there's an internet problem for the first contestant or for the contestant in the isolation room, the contestant will be given a one-off chance of two minutes to log back in. If a contestant's internet drops, after the topic is read to the first contestant, they will not be allowed to participate in the contest. If they get dropped during their speech, no second chance will be given to log back in. Judges will mark for whatever they heard or they have seen. Both hands of the contestants must be visible to the contest sergeant arms at all times in the isolation room to ensure they are not using any devices. Contestants audio and video must be on at all times in the isolation room. Should a contestant fail to do so, he or she will not be allowed to participate in the contest. Contestants are not permitted to leave the isolation room at any point during the contest. The topic will be typed into a private chat on Zoom for the contestant, as well as read out loud twice. While the topic is read by the contest chair, the contestant may look at their chat message. If a contestant does not see the topic typed into their private chat on Zoom, it is their right to ask for it. During technology failure, affected contestant is requires, requested to communicate to the contest chair or chief judge using WhatsApp or phone. Each contestant will be introduced by announcing the contestant's name, the topic, the topic, and the name. Upon being introduced, the contestant should proceed immediately to the speaking position. Contestants will be asked by the Chief Sergeant Arms on his or her readiness before handing over to contest chair for a formal introduction. The speaker should begin with a short time after arriving at the speaking area and confirming his or her readiness and is not permitted to delay the contest. All contestants shall receive the same topic, which shall be of a general nature. All contestants, except contest number one, will be escorted by the Sergeant Arms to the isolation room and will be called in one by one. Contestants must not reference another contestant from the platform at the same contest in which they are competing. Speeches shall be one to two minutes. Contestants who speak less than one minute or more than two minutes, 30 seconds will be disqualified. Timers, in case you're using your cell phone for timing, please set your phone in the do not disturb or airplane mode. Timer will allow the speaker to be ready upon reaching the speaking position and will be ready for timing after hearing the formal introduction of the speaker by the contest chair. Timing will begin with the contestant's first verbal or non-verbal communication with the audience. This usually will be the first word uttered by the contestant, but would include any other communication such as sound effects. Timer, timer one, can you please give me a green signal? Green signal will be displayed at one minute and remain displayed for 30 seconds. The amber signal will be displayed at one and a half minutes and remain displayed for 30 seconds. The red signal will be displayed at two minutes and remain displayed until the speech is concluded. No audible device will be used to indicate over time period. There will be one minute silence between contestants during which the judges will mark their ballots. Three minute silence will be observed at the end of contest to help the judges to complete their ballots. Chief judge will be asked if more time is needed once silence time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, silence is virtue. Please turn off your cameras and keep your microphone muted throughout the contest. Prior to announcing of the winner, an announcement will be made if the time disqualification occurred, but the name of the contestant will not be revealed. Here are some basic reminders. Avoid entering or leaving the contest room back and forth. Although the chat box is enabled to host and co-host only, it's not recommended to use the chat box during any speech. 
Protests concerning eligibility, originality, and reference to other contestants will be limited to judges and contestants only. Any protest may be lodged with the chief judge and or contest chair, that's me, prior to the announcement of the winners. All decisions of the judges are final. Are there any questions? I don't see a raise of hands, so I think I assume the contestants are ready. Timers, are you ready? Can I see the virtual thumbs up? Timer one, timer two. I see from timer one, timer two. A virtual thumbs up in case you're required. Yes, thank you so much. Chief Judge, are your judges ready? Yes, they are contest chair. Thank you so much. The ever smiling Chief Judge Toastmaster Farooq Kader and his distinguished panel of judges. Audience, are you ready? Can I see some thumbs up? Virtual thumbs up is still. Ah, oh, thank you. So I see the audience here responding to me. Sergeant Toms, would you please escort, accept the contestant number one, rest of the contestants to the breakout room, please. Yeah, Toastmaster Rasim, are you there? Yeah, I will, I will send to our KJ. Contest chair, I have sent you a private message on the WhatsApp. Can you please respond to that one? Thank you. If possible. Chief Judge, acknowledged. Yes, Court Chair, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. ID Moderator, I think we are good to go. Before yes. we go, I will go to the breakout room and can you allow me to check that one? Thank you. Contest chair, yes, yes. I, everything is in order. Uh, you may proceed if you want. Please, can you advise the contestant to remove the virtual background if as proceed, please. Thank you. Thank you so much, CJ. You've been very kind and very cooperative and giving words of wisdom too. Thank you so much. We really love that. 
Toastmaster Mahmoud al uh, contestant number one. Sergeant Adams, can you prepare our contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud al -Rajaj? Thank you, contest chair. Kiam Mahmoud, good evening to you. Good evening. Have you pinged the timer? Yes, it is. Is this your speaking position? It is. Yes, it is. You are audible and visible. Excellent. Give me a thumbs up once you are ready. I'm ready. Back to you, contester. Thank you, our ever dependable Chief Sergeant. <laughs> Test number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud al -Adraj. I have a special genie for you because you are our first contestant for Table Topics. So would you like to choose or would you like me to spin the wheel? Uh, let's your screen start first because it's still spinning. Are you able to see my screen? Not yet. Okay, are you able to see it now? You're muted. Yes, you can spin. Okay, the table topics for you is table topic number two. And I'm going to share the same thing on your chat screen while I read out. Your topic is, what gets you excited about life? Table topic contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud al Azraj. Your topic is, what gets you excited about life? Toastmaster Mahmoud al Adraj, the floor is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Tafir. Uh, what gets me excited about my life? I'm happy. I'm always happy and energetic. And what makes me excited is the achievements. The more you achieve, the more you get excited the more you achieve the more you get the adrenaline high in your body the more you reach to a point you would like to exceed it to the second point and that's where you get excited and in, in, in your life and that's what where i get excited in my life and i believe everyone has uh, the level of that esteem that they would like to reach self-esteem and they want to reach that level in order to get satisfied, but they are not satisfied. They look for another challenge, another achievement and another achievement until they reach where they would like to reach. And that's where makes the life goes on and make you get excited more and more. Thank you, Toastmaster Tafi. Thank you, contestant number one, Toastmaster Mahmoud al Adraj. <laughs> now we observe one minute of silence for judges to mark their ballots.
One minute is up. May I request Sergeant Arms to bring contestant number two? Sergeant Adams, can you prepare contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad al -Salam. Good evening, PM Arsalan. Good evening, sir. Is this your speaking position? Yes, this is my speaking position. Have you pinged the timer? Sorry? Have you pinged the timer? When you say ping the timer, what does that mean? I mean, time, look at the screen and see where exactly the timer is. So just yeah, yeah, I can see the timers. Yes. I can see them. Yes. You are audible and visible. Please give the thumbs up once you are ready. With the Sergeant of Arms, may I interfere? Sorry for interrupting. Yeah. Will the contestant right, like to prefer to remove their uh, background, virtual background, please? Thank you. Sir. Please remove the virtual background. Please do not turn off your camera, please. Thank um, you. Yes, yes. I'm trying to remove the blood as well. Thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Uh, Toastmaster with him, yes, I am. So uh, just a quick question before I start off. I've, I will be introduced to the topic uh, or it will be sent to my chat. No, you, you are introduced now. Once you are ready, I'll uh, just hand over to Contestor and he will give you a topic. And I'll have one minute to think over or I have to start off in how much time? What is the uh, thought process that I can take? How long can I think before I start the speech? Chief Judge. Uh, okay. Uh, contestant, you will have 30 seconds after the announcement of the topic. You can Sir. recompose your thought. And the contest chair will both say the topic to you twice and also send it privately to your chat. Sure, sir. Okay, contest chair. Thank you. I'm ready, sir. Back to you, contest chair. Thank you, Sergeant Arms. And we know why you are the best Sergeant Arms of BITP. Thank you. And thank you, Chief Judge. Your words of wisdom yep. is giving motivation to all our participants and contestants and future leaders of BITP. Table topics, contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad Arsalan. I'm posting on your private chat your topic and I will read it out for you as well twice. Your topic today is, what gets you excited about life? I posted also on your private chat, the topic today for contestant number two, Toastmaster Muhammad al is what gets you excited about life? Toastmaster Muhammad al the virtual floor is all yours. I'd like to start. Toastmaster Tafik, uh, thank you for uh, the table topic. Uh, good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters and, and respected Chief Judge. Um, 
My name is Toastmaster Salan. The table topic over here is what gets you excited about life? Yeah, there are a lot of things that get me excited about life, but I think I have uh, a particular time limit and, and I'll choose some of the basic things that really touch um, upon what I do on a daily basis. The first excitement when I get out of bed is I, I try to thank my Lord uh, for being able to uh, see another day as well. It's not that I'm old. It's part of uh, what I have been taught by my parents that each time that you go to sleep um, and, and you wake up, it's like a reincarnation. So I thank the Lord and I try to go and, and see the light. The cardiac rhythms are around, uh, the sun coming out, the hustling and bustling of the, the, the world that is that we live in. And a lot of... Um, let's say, uh, a good energy that comes into by listening to these chirping of the birds that, that that's their early morning. So I'm an early riser and I go to bed early as well. Now, this is not the only part that keeps me excited. I am actually um, a, a very interactive person. I'm actually an introvert, but I love to be an extrovert. So I meet a lot of people. Um, my best thing that, that gets me excited is meeting new people, learning new things. And that's one of the reasons why I was invited and I opted in in the very first invitation. Yes, I will become a Toastmaster and I like to brush up on my skills of, of meeting people and having a really nice um, a time um, and a cup of coffee. And so um, what gets me excited is always a good cup of coffee with some really good people. Thank you very much, Toastmasters. I'm done. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Arsalan. And... <laughs> it's your participation certificate and one minute of silence for judges to mark their ballots. Sergeant Tams, our contestant number three. <laughs> Toastmaster Shakil Sheikh, can you please prepare him? Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, team Shakil. Uh, good evening, Toastmaster Wasim. Can you take your speaking position, please? That is my speaking position. Have you pinged the timer? Yes. If, if you are ready, please give me a thumbs up with the smile. Thank you. You are audible and visible. Back to you, contest chair. Thank you, Toastmaster Wasim. The you. lovely Sergeant Tams with a lot of energy and smile. Toastmaster Shakil, contestant number three. Are we posting on your private chat the topic? And I will also read the topic twice. Your topic is what gets you excited 
about life. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shaquille, your topic is what gets you excited about life? Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shaquille, the virtual floor is all yours. Thank you, contest chair. What gets me excited about life? Too many things to be excited about life. One of the things is the surprises. I, I love the surprises that life brings. Sometimes you are planning something and there comes a surprise. There was sur many surprises in life and every surprise brings with it something really amazing, something to learn about, something to ponder upon. And some of these surprises create wonderful memories. When I came here, I was planning to bring my family and the surprise came COVID. Wow, we spent so much time waiting for them to come and do things like that. There are always surprises in life, but each surprise brings with it something which is very amazing to learn about and uh, create some memories. There was a time when uh, I was planning to travel. Suddenly they said, okay, your family is not getting visa. Okay, what a surprise. Then you work upon it, find out what is going on. Do something, hassle, create tension, stress, and then you find out the solution and get it and you go. What a surprise, beautiful surprise. Why do we go on vacations? Because we get surprises, right? So we get new things, all of that. Imagine if there was no surprise in life, you knew everything going as per your plan, there'll be no more fun. Surprises keep me always excited about life. What is the new surprise I'm going to get about? So about this speech, about the Toastmasters, or about life, or about tomorrow morning. So I'm looking forward to the new surprises. Thank you, all to you, Katesha. Thank you. Contestant number three, Toastmaster Shaquille. Please accept the virtual certificate from BITP. <laughs> and one minute of silence for judges to mark their backs. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser is in the room. Toastmaster Wasim Sergeant Arms. <laughs> Would you please prepare our contestant number four? Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Kim Yasser. Good evening, Kim. Good evening. Is this your speaking position? Yes, this is. I am in my speaking position. Have you pinged the timer? Yeah, no, but Just I can't see the, the timer. timer on the If you are ready, please give a thumbs up with the smile. Uh, um, did I have the topic? I, I did not have the topic yet. Once you are ready, I'll I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for. I'm ready for the topic. 
you are audible and visible. Back to you, contestant. Thank you, Sergeant Thompson. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser. I'm going to post on your private chat the topic, and I'm going to read it out as well twice. So, Master Yasser, your topic is what gets you excited about life? I've posted it on your chat. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser. Your topic is what gets you excited about life? Toastmaster Yasser, contestant number four, the virtual floor is all yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Tofiq, our to to topic uh, Toastmaster. And uh, what what get me excited about life? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our toast, our TMs, uh, our table topic uh, chair. Good evening. So, uh, goals, goals and achievements is really what uh, usually drive men. So we usually uh, driven or excited by goals and achievement. Everybody uh, without goals. Day. You, you should have target, you should have an objective that you will make you proud. Uh, usually this is what will make everybody uh, excited. Thank you. Back to our Toastmaster. Thank you. Contestant number four, Toastmaster Yasser. <laughs> Please receive the certificate of participation. And now I will wait till Chief Judge give me a go ahead until all ballots are collected. Thank you. So we'll maintain silence.
contest chair. You may adjourn the contest exactly after one minute. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Judge. One minute is over, Chief Judge. Thank you so much. Before I adjourn, let me thank the timers who did a lovely job, timer one, timer two, the tally counters, the sergeant arms, of course, the distinguished panel of judges whom we cannot see, but we are grateful and thankful to all of them, our contestants. And most importantly, the audience who are here to see us all and give those lovely smiles, thumbs up, encouragement. It's all because of you that today we are able to perform the way we want to perform. I'm looking for the person who is going to felicitate us for our contest. And with that, I adjourn the Table Topics Contest for BITP of 2022-2023, and would now request our DTM Khaled Jalal, the IPCGD, to felicitate our members, our role players, and take it forward. DTM Khaled Jalal, the virtual floor is all yours. Thank you very much. Let me congratulate all the participants who took part in this contest today. I know how difficult it was for everyone, all the organizers to call everyone on one, in one meeting. I, I have seen all the messages going around and that brings the, <clears throat> the, the courage and the support for the club that all of you are in the meeting today. And I'd like to thank all the contestants who came for the humorous and table topic. I know when I was in the breakout room, how people were talking about this session. Everyone was so excited. All of our support who are not seen, not heard, unknown heroes, our judges. Thank you very much to all our judges. Of course, I can't see their names and I, I will not know their names, but I'm sure uh, somebody know them and they will be uh, recognized with the certificate from the club side. So I'd like to thank all of them from the bottom of my heart. Our chief judge who is here with us, uh, Toastmaster Ghulam Farooq, thank you very much sir, for being part of this contest and supporting BITP in this special event. I'll not say last but not the least, our club growth director, who I can see also in, in the meeting. Despite all the tough challenges and the time, I know the role of the CGD is very tough. He has to manage the entire district, but despite that, he spare time to be part of our clubs. Thank you very much, uh, Brother CGD, to DTM Yasir Gasha, for your presence in this meeting today with us. It's, it's a really an honor to all of us. And our timer, Timer one and timer two, of course, they're hidden. They're, the names are not known. Maybe you can see them. <clears throat> I heard one of their name. I know maybe who it could be, but the second one, I'm still doubtful. I, but whoever they are, unless they are officially disclosed, thank you very much, our timers, for your support. It is you who managed the entire event in, in a way that we start on time and complete on time, and you manage everyone's time be the speaker or the table topic. So it's a great responsibility you have performed today. And our other organizers who are in this meeting who are not shown, 
uh, I've seen some of our members, so uh, Toastmaster members who are not in right now from our Kuwait clubs. I'd like to thank them as well. And our president, Toastmaster Vikar Deen, you have done a great work to arrange this contest along with your team members. So I'd like to congratulate you as well. And last but not the least, our Toastmaster Taufik Kadir, who is one of the more energetic member of the club and who's also shown his energy in this meeting. Thank you very much for your role and your contribution for the club and the success of the club in this term and the success of the contest, which I'm just going to conclude. Thank you very much, everyone. May God bless you all and back to you, Toastmaster Taufik. Thank you, DTM Khalid, IPCGD of District 20, with your stalwarts and current CCD, DTM Yasser. Both of you, brothers being here supporting VITP, it's great to see. Now, let me call upon our one and only 8037. We call him with a lot of love, with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of respect and honor. He is one who developed our VITP to a larger stage of District 20 and hopefully next year to a division as well. Our soon to be DTM, Toastmaster Mohammed Vikaruddin, the virtual floor is all yours. Thank you, Cortez Chair. As our DTM colleague has mentioned, you are one of the strong pillars for our club and make the club vibrant. Not only you, all our club members, Toastmaster Vaseem, Toastmaster Shakil, and most important, today our Toastmaster Mahmoud Adraj, Toastmaster Mohammed Arsalan, Toastmaster Yasser, and of course our Charter President, Dithib Khalid Jalal, and very important person today in our meeting, our CGD, and hidden judges. I know the timer, so I will recognize them before I will get a result from our CJ. We have some certificates for our broker who make this event success. First of all, to our CJ, which uh, accept our invitation to be part of the CJ. Thank you. Toastmaster Gulam Farooq to serve and give a valuable service for our CJ. Next, we have our energy pick, all the time available for all our District 20 in virtual, Toastmaster Vaseen, who is our sergeant at arms, and today also he served, and thank you for your service. And our energy pick, a smile all the time, giving energy to the meeting, not only in Toastmaster, also Toastmaster to the community, Toastmaster Tofi Khadr. Now we have a timer, Nilika Chaturangi, I pronounce correct. So thank you for the service giving as a timer for our today's contest. We have another technology person and the mentor of our Club founder president, Toastmaster Nagendra Sitaraman, serve as a timer. Thank you for your service, and we honor for you be here in our contest. And we have the tally counter, Toastmaster Purvisha. Thank you for your service as well. We have Toastmaster Mohammad Roshan, the tally counter for our today's meeting. Now, I am waiting for the result. Then we will adjourn the meeting. Thank you, DTM Khalid. You observe the quality meeting. We have to start meeting on time and finish on time. Still, we are 10 minutes. So I'm waiting for the judges to give the winner. Then we'll conclude the session. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of our Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club. Without our contestant or no contest. <laughs> so thank you for contesting. Thank you, Ruti. Day and night he's working and and make this club and our 
her president in the wall of VIPP, Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi, he pop in and he appreciate the word of wisdom through WhatsApp. Thank you for his presence. And uh, due to his family issue with health, that's why he could not connect with us. Thank you. Now I'm waiting for the judge to address us. CJ, over to you. Thank you very much to Master Vikharuddin and my congratulations to Bahrain IT Professional Clubs for conducting a wonderful contest. I know it's not easy to do the contest. It gets on everybody's nerves. There's a lot of preparation going on in the background. And I know with being the year end, most of you are busy. And this deserves a big round of applause for all of you because you showed the courage to continue and have this contest under tough circumstances. And that is the first step. You have conquered your fear and you have showed determination. Please keep that up. The results that we get, you will get from this contest have, don't have that much value. The real result is in your hearts. Are you going to strive and are you a champion? Believe me, all of you are a champions right now. With that, I'll hand back to the contest chair so he can proceed with the announcements of the results from his side. Thank you, Thank you CJ. Now we have to announce the result. I think uh, I'm waiting for the other contest. If you can give it so we can announce at the same time or just must I it. actually the each contest chair should announce their results okay. individually. Okay, then I will announce for mine, which is for humorous. Okay, so I will announce for my result. I'm just waiting for my file to open. Thank you, CJ, for making this event or the contest successful. And uh, I would like to make sure our Toastmaster Gulam Farooq is present here for announcement. There is a one disqualification. And now the result is we'll go with the first and second. And here the result is very simple and easy. If I will say second, you will go with the order prescribed. You will go with yes. the lowest ranking result and then with the first place. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going that, but I'm just giving some kind of a... Okay. And the winner for our today's con con contest, the number two is our college days, Toastmaster Sakil Sheikh. Congratulations. Now, of course, and who is the winner? Who is the winner? Now, the winner is. And our founder president vision is coming through. And the winner is Toastmaster Virtue Senior George Washington. The speech contest first place winner, Toastmaster Mahmoud Aladraj. Congratulations. And with that, I will give. Handed over back to our Toastmaster topic other announced for table topic winners. Yeah, contest chair, can you also also announce that the first two contestants who are placed will go to the area contest as per the rules, please? Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Ulam Farooq, our CJ. Now, Toastmaster Mahmoud Adaraj and Toastmaster Sakil, congratulations. You both of you representing Bahrain IT professional to the further in area three contest and prepare yourself for the next month, 11th of January. And prepare well 
and do well go to the uh, up to division congratulations and with that i will back control to my contest chair my favorite postmaster tofi khader thank you mr president and contest chair for humorous contest today bitp is all flourishing and i can see that from cj is well satisfied with the contest and i'm sure with the results as well as most of you are excited i see an anticipation too so are you all ready can you unmute i mean now the floor is open you can unmute are you all ready i can't hear you yay yes 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 all ready right. <laughs> so shall i announce yes. the results yes i am okay so let me begin with the good news the good news that cj has given me chief judge toastmaster farooq is there are no disqualifications wow so give a big round of applause for yourself there are no disqualifications of protest <laughs> okay. and with the order what cj has prescribed that i should proceed with is a third place winner and it goes to a person who has attempted uh uh who has attempted what gets you excited about life goes to toastmaster sorry uh, contest chair contest chair may i stop you at this moment please yes please okay sorry uh, oh sorry my mistake there was some other confusion with that sorry please proceed my mistake sorry okay i i thought that for a second that the results were wrong ck <laughs> you put my heart in my world ah <laughs> uh, so contestant number for the third place goes to toswasa mahmud al ladraj that makes bidp very happy because he is Ooh. in humorous speech now he is in table topics contestant for let the dumb rose play who takes the second spot is is toastmaster mohammad arsalan ayub so well played brother it is contest which get you to the area level and the first contestant who attempted what gets you excited about life is the surprises right So who is the surprise for us today? Surprise. Right. It's Dosmaster Shakil Sayed Sheikh as number 1 for tonight. But good news is the first and the second both of you qualify for our area 3. So big round of applause for our contestants. Hearty congratulations. all of you are winners and winners are not choosers you will inshallah do more better more prepared next time and do wonders for bitp so with that i give the floor back to our toastmaster mohammad vikaruddin our president with a big round of applause thank you for your energy toastmaster the topic while you are talking one to one is different while you are in the contours while you are presenting something pr while you are giving as a presentation you are a different person and you are having a hidden gene to make vibrancy and make energy to the meeting thank you so much and with that only we have one minute and i would like to thank you so much first of all to our chief judge ulam farooq he is busy as kitchen he is a project manager but he is giving time for us giving a service and for especially the new toastmasters those who are guests and this kind of service you will not get as a member of toastmaster international you are getting the service you are getting and you are qualifying and you are appreciating all the work which you are doing as an individual thank you toastmaster gora farooq i don't know when you will become as a dtm and thanks <laughs> and thanks to our wiki education made this happen for his work 
and congratulations to the winner. As we said, winning and losing is not a matter. It matters only participation. Thank you so much for Postmaster Yasser Al Yusuf. And uh, thanks to CEO, virtual CEO, make him comfortable. Come and go for the topic. <laughs> I mean, he was not agree, but during discussion, he said, Go ahead, Yana, topic, 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 topic. Thank you. Yes, sir, Yusuf, I hope in upcoming session or upcoming contest, you will be the winner. I'm now prepared for our international speech and evaluation. It's a participation is more, most important, the winning. And winning is nothing but is only giving us better. So, Toastmaster Yasser Al Yusuf, prepare for your next international speech and evaluation. We will more give you more preparation, contact your mentor, we'll give you more on that. So I think I have passed only one minute. And before that, I would like to take a feedback to our winner, first our CEO, Postmaster Mahmoud Agraj. I remember your, your speech and I told him and exactly what they were wow, good. <laughs> give your feedback. That, that, that's based on you. For demand, that was a speech. <laughs> Thank you. And now our Toastmaster Shaquille, give your feedback. Feedback on the the contest or the speech? Yes, contest, whatever you like. Only we have only two minutes left. Yeah, I think it was uh, very well organized uh, with all those challenges we had. So I think um, really, uh, thanks for that. That, uh, we had so many challenges, but uh, you managed it so well, uh, Mr. President. This was very well arranged contest. Thank you, thank you. And now we will take a feedback. Always he's hidden. He will never speak. None other than our special timer of District 20, hidden gym. Again, one more gym. Postmaster was seen. Share your feedback. Always you are thank hidden. You our president, yeah, it was really a, a wonderful contest. We really enjoyed a lot, and uh, uh, definitely you, TM, Tofi, Kader, and all club members, they put in a lot of efforts. Though I just came from office late, and uh, suddenly this role was given to me, though I tried my best to perform. Anyhow, I wish all winners as well as our uh, members best of luck for. Uh, Area and VN as well. Wow, thank Back you. you, thank, you. Are... thank you, Toastmaster Vaseem. At least I listened something good motivation word from you. And with that, we will give hand over to our Toastmaster Yasser Al Yusuf. Tell about your experience. How did you face it today? <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. It's wonderful. Uh, and uh... It's really a great meeting. It's always been excited to come and join such a meeting, physically or virtually. It's really always full of energy, full of fun, uh, changing of the mode, and the releasing of uh, the pressure as well of, of the world. So uh, special thank to every, for all the people who organized this meeting. Uh, thank you very much. Back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Yasser, and prepare your international speech and connect with your mentor, Toastmaster Ahmed Balochi. He's a good speaker, good content, so you take it on that. And the last but not least, to call our uh, former or past president or founder president, DTM Khaled Jalal, for his last word. Only we have one minute left. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I really enjoyed the session for the time I was uh, uh, part of the session. I, I missed the initial part, of course. My congratulations to all of our uh, champions who came forward and special congratulations to those who will be representing the club to the area level. The comment which I want to make is from now till the area, uh, we should, as a club, work very close with our champions and prepare them very well for the nitty gritties and anything which they any help and support they require any practice they need so that they are prepared much better than they are right now for the area contest and i wish everyone all the best back to you mr president 
Thank you. Thank you. Our charter president, DTM Khalil Jalal, he highlighted the wonderful point. I think Toastmaster Mahmoud Adraj and Toastmaster Shakil, if you prepare well every day, and we, we, here we have already mentioned Toastmaster Tafi Khada, 360 degree mentor, none other than our club charter president, DTM Khalil Jalal, ready to help you. So you can work from now till next month. You have a contest, and I really like it the way which you present Toastmaster Mahmoud Adaraj. And last, but we will talk about, thank you for Mohammed Asalam. I, I need to listen from you as well. Last, and we'll conclude that session. Oh, it was a wonderful experience. It's my first time with the Toastmaster, especially with an online session on Zoom. Um, I, I think a lot of preparations would have been done in the background. I can well imagine um, it, it's not an easy task to get this thing done. So uh, looking to be around um, and, and thanks a lot for all of the, um, the, the work that has been done, uh, put into place to make this thing possible. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And uh, with that, we'll adjourn the meeting number 86 and see you in our next meeting, which is international speech and evaluation. If you need any help, reach out to your mentor and make sure you prepare for your next contest, which is on 20. 6th December of this month. And thank you. Bye.